I did not expect to be so welcomed and accepted by the Oxfam family. It's been super phenomenal because like, I feel really like a part of the team. We're here for the Kimberley Aboriginal Women's Council Roundtable. Up until this trip, it's really just been like weekly remote uh, Zoom calls with the rest of the First Peoples Program team. And while I've been here in Broome, it's meant I just tie up some loose ends, do some driving around, run some errands, so researching, catering and parliamentarians. Generally make myself useful, which has been obviously enjoyable and rewarding. I'm studying law and communications. Really was just interested in the sort of INGO space um, and wanted a bit more experience outside of the classroom and seeing what these big organisations are doing. So yeah, when the position came up, I applied and I just thought it could not be more perfect. And of course I've heard of Oxfam, everyone's heard of Oxfam, so I was like, wow. Yeah. This sort of experience, it really allows you to understand what the work looks like on the ground and in communities. And I guess I'm going to take this knowledge and information and be able to put it into my essays, be able to like put it into my future work, whatever that may be. And yeah, just it really provides concrete knowledge about what kind of development and social justice work actually looks like. Especially as a uni student, just to be a bit more hands-on and seeing the theories that you're learning about in a tutorial or at a lecture actually spoken about um, or seeing them come into play. It was pretty interesting hearing like intersectionality as a concept being talked about at the round table when that's such a buzzword at uni. My name is Chloe and I'm a First Peoples Program Policy Support Volunteer. Um, my name is Maya and I'm the First Peoples Program Policy Support Volunteer at Oxfam. Definitely the Broom Mango Cheesecake has been a highlight so far. 